Hello and welcome back. I hope it's not too dark. Um, yes, welcome back. Um, today we're gonna add uh, today we're gonna. Um, that's my stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna start making. I'm gonna show you how to make the. Um, let me get one here. The Amato Rose. It's very very simple design and as you have known then I made a mistake by um, using the leaves to the amount of flower the wrong leaves so yeah and then the buds of course so let's just let's just start we have here Five of these templates, you will need five. It's like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And what we need to do is um, the first one, you will have to turn it back. So this is the back of the paper because you would like to you know, have that this shown because we're going using we're going to use a styrofoam bowl. And all you will need to do is a use a chopstick there for the tip. That's very important. The tip for the first two templates to fold it. As you can see, where I'm holding my fingers is just here, and then I'm just actually wrapping it around the petal. I'm gonna put that aside. The second one I'm gonna do the same and again I will be using doing that the back of the paper because I want the good side to be shown there and again at the top well now we're going coming coming to our last tree and this time we would like to do it the front of the paper but I'm not gonna curl them at the top but this time it's just here at the bottom so I'm placing my template and uh, my chopstick here and then I'm gonna curl them here at the bottom because I want the, it to be curled there attached there and have the tip opened just gonna push it away and go So, as you can see, that's the difference. There you go. So when that's done, just keep them in the right order. I'm going to use my embossing pad. It's actually just a mouse mat, which you can use too. But this one is foam and thicker, so it's really easy. So I'm going to use my embossing tool. I'm gonna use the big side and I'm just gonna see just the center I'm just gonna shape the center curl the center to like a cup and that will also lift up the templates I'm gonna do that with all of them and do note that um, these mine templates does not have the holes in the center here. Yours will have them. These were actually just um, prototypes, but but I was and sample, but I was immediately satisfied with the template. So 
but just decided to use them. So when you see me pinning a hole, but you don't have to, okay? Because you already have them. And besides, I like this more because then the holes will be very easy. And I'm so used to this that I know exactly where the center is. And now I'm going to take a styrofoam bowl. The measurement is, um, oh, you know where to find it. Get my glue. I will need a wire. Um. I will be using a wire that I already have. So but you might like to Depending on what you would like to do, actually, depending on what you would like to do, the length of your um, flower. But for now, we'll just, I'm just going to use half for the tutorial. It's also easier for me to show you because the camera is zoomed in and then you know, be struggling with the wire. I'm just using my wet nose plier and I'm gonna bend the tip of the floral tape and a uh, floral floral wire with my um bed nose plier and create this hook. I hope that was I'm just gonna look where the center is. I think it's there. It's gonna pin through, insert all the way and pull it. Don't pull too hard, just like that. And since as you can see, but don't pull too hard or else you will pull it all the way through. And then, oh. you have a problem. So I'm gonna use the first template. Add some glue in the center of the template at first, or apply, I mean. And I'm using an then there you go and I'm gonna insert the there I'm gonna wrap it just there so it's attached okay excuse me if I'm out of screen right now because I'm just applying glue Now I am going to apply glue. Oh. As you can see. All over the surface of a petal. And also on the opposite one. Exact opposite. Wrap this around the base and create this and then pinch it on top. So you wrap it, help it to, you know, and then face it towards to you. Then you will see the center. And then when there it's the center, you just pinch the tip of the templates together. And just like that. And then you do the same with the other one. And then you wrap that one over the previous one. And pinch it. It's okay if it's flat because you won't see it. But if you don't like it flat, you can always... When it's... Pinch it back and then it will become hollow again. But gently. As you 
can see I'm doing that right now and then you will have this cone don't worry it doesn't have to be perfect because you know look at my it's also a big mess you won't see this anyways this is just the base as you can see you won't see anything that's like there all the way in the center just as long the most important thing is that it's attached properly because this is your base I'm gonna do the same thing with um, here the other one I'm gonna apply glue also again on the opposite side gonna apply glue all over the surface of the plates there and then I'm gonna wrap them around the previous one one by one the same way but we don't pinch at the top this time we just wrap it around just like that stroke it and then place your to your your index finger in your thumb here and pinch it there but we do not pinch that here anymore no we just secure here with your fingers because that's where we want it to be you no know, attached and secured so it won't move here yeah. I'm gonna do the next go so as you can see, I'm just stroking them here, placing them around the base, the styrofoam bowl. And then I'm placing my index and thumb here in the side and place it there, secure it. That's it. And then press it. If you're using cardstock, then and you won't immediately attach, then I would advise to use glue gun. Glue gun is faster to dry as well. And there you go. You have yourself a bud at first, yeah? So I have created this bud. <coughs> Take the sepal. I'm just gonna make the thingy here there hollow with my embossing tool a bit doesn't have to be really hollow 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 just shape them just like that and I'm gonna Use a clean bamboo skewer to fold the tip of the templates and pinch them the tip. So fold and pinch. Fold and pinch at the top. Fold and pinch at the top. Hold and pinch at the top and then you will get this and it doesn't look and then it's not that flat anymore okay and maybe we should do that first before we start embossing or else we have to do that again because after all that folding so I think it's best indeed to just Fold first and then embose, and you get this sepal. It's a huge one, isn't it? Now, <coughs> I'm sorry, 
I am just going to apply glue in those areas. I want it to be attached. Of course, you have to apply glue on areas where you would like it to be attached. And this will create, well, you know, that's obvious. And then I'm just gonna. I have a hole here somewhere, yep. Yeah. Insert. And make sure that you have this 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 thingy here where you can see the base. Make sure those are covered, okay? So you have to place the sepal over them so you won't see those anymore. And then you just wrap it around the base and just Stroke it here so it will be attached and have the same shape as the. You can accentuate. I'm sorry if I'm out of screen. Accentuate the. Um, so. There. There you go, and you have yourself a cute butt. I'm just gonna take a piece of floral tape. Cut it. Start here and I always I do it slowly. So what I do is I wrap the tip around and pinch it there tight so it's attached. And then before and then I roll a couple of times. One, two, three, and then I pull it up. And it's pretty secured. And then I hold it there. And from there I it and go down and cover the whole thingy. Now you do not have to cover the whole wire because, it, or else it will be erased and then you have to cut it off like I did. Depending on what you would like to make, if you, um, there's always tricky when coming, uh, when making this kind of thing because then I have to give you my measurements for what I did, which I will as you can, as you have, I did, as you could have could see but oh yes true I don't have lips leaves anymore <laughs> because I used it for the rose well, I have one left might as well just use that so I'm gonna take a new piece of wire you can do this with glue gun if you wish. It's probably much easier if you just place glue gun, glue, blah, blah, glue gun and wrap it around the um, as you have seen in the um, in the video the previous video, the amount of flower this is shown in the amount of flower guys so if you be like oh yeah it's in the amount of flower i just made this mistake and how to do the leaves is in the amount of flower then you'll have just the tutorial for the amount of flower and the rose in one and there you have a bud there now I'm gonna continue where we left off. I'm gonna show you another version of the bud. So you can actually make three flowers of this. Or actually many more. Whatever you want. Many ways to con 
construct this. You can. I have created this open rose, but if you attach it very high, like glue it, then you can create a very compact one. Like you see. So that's really up to you. The option is there. Ah, um, now I'm gonna apply glue just half. Not completely, just half. Like here. And apply it on the, especially on the sides because I want that to, oops, to be attached to the base that we have. I'm just gonna apply glue now, so I'll just do that later. So especially on the sides, like I said, because those are areas where I really want them to be attached. And if you're doing this, you have really act fast because or else the glue will dry so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply this glue and then oops that's too much glue oh well okay wipes around you so you can instantly wipe your fingers clean from the glue. I don't have them anymore. I need to purchase them when I add it out this week. And now I'm gonna attach this template and you will see you have these holes again and you would like to cover those with the leaves. With the leaves with the petals okay so as you can see i'm just stroking attaching the thingy there that's what i do use like using my thingy and wrap it there okay and now maybe that's a bit too much because then you want to see it there what I'm gonna do is gonna look at where I left off and it's here. So I don't know where you left off, then you have to look. And there's where also where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do the same thing. But this time I'll just wrap it there, like here. See, going to the next. Ratchet. Well, you know, and then have some space here, at the top. You don't want that to be, you may, but you don't have to. So this is creating that space in between, and then you just attach them one by one over the other. And if you have some space here, lift it up, pull it up, stroke it up, whatever it's called. So, there, and then, this can also be a bud if you like this more, it just, you'll need more um, paper, this can be a bud too. Which is also very pretty. It's like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing this, but now I'm just gonna apparently apply glue here at the bottom. This is easier. Attach the next. And I need glue. There. 
as you can see my bed there's like this space here but you may do it more compact as you wish and that's you just twisting down this around if you like it if you would like it to be more compact and closed now this one I am just